my internet family welcome back for another get ready with me video a lot of you guys have been requesting a summer summery one. Oh, got a little itch there um and i don't mean a summary of a get ready with me video but more one about how i make myself look less like a potato for an average summer's day i am normally a winter person but i'm really enjoying the hot summer months right now and there's a few things that i do upon rising to make myself feel good walking out the door. Let's talk shower, let's talk hair, let's talk makeup, let's talk breakfast. So after I brush my teeth, I take a little bit of micellar water on a little cotton pad and I'll just wipe away any excess oils on my face that were left there from my moisturizers from the night before. And then I hop into the shower. On any days when I'm not having a bath in the evening, I shower in the morning. So I'll clean myself off and I'll shave if I haven't had a wax done because there's a lot less clothes being worn and I like smooth skin. Okay, so you guys know that I'm a bit of a snowman and I can't get a tan. Like, I lived in LA for months recently and I just got back from Barcelona with my friend Hannah Witten. You guys saw a vlog of that and I had no tan coming back, not even a smidge of a tan. It's usually around this time of year that I start playing around with self tans and I have found a new favorite because it suits my busy lifestyle and my lazy lifestyle. So this one here is the Rimmel London Sun Shimmer One Minute Express Application In Shower Self Tan Hydrating Lotion. Um, and this kind of just, it just gets the job done so quick and I don't have to worry about it. So the way you'll use this is after washing yourself in the shower, you just apply some into your hand and it kind of has a serum-y texture, like a, um, an oily serum -y texture as a light scent. Then you either step out from under your shower or you just turn it off. I recommend doing that to not waste water. And then you just kind of rub it onto your body as if it's a body wash. If you're the kind of person who tends to get very dry elbows and knees and feet and stuff, I recommend you exfoliating those first or the day before. I literally just rub this all over my body and then I turn the water back on and I rinse it off. You'll notice when you're rinsing it that the water kind of slides off the top of it. So if you feel like you're not washing it off completely, that is okay because it takes a while to just kind of sink in. When you're done your shower, you'll notice you have all these little beads of water all over your body. That means you've done it right. Then it is very important that you pat it dry and don't rub yourself with a towel. I've learned this the hard way because I tried this a couple of times. I'm now a little pro at it. It's so easy. Um, but yeah, it makes sense if you rub your skin then you're gonna tamper with it and move it all around So just so you just want to pat it all dry and then I just threw my bathrobe on to kind of let that do its work It developed over a couple of hours for me And I know that sometimes if I put it on the night before I go to bed It's really dark the next day and the more you apply the darker it'll be on your skin too. I never go for a full super dark tan. I like just kind of a natural glow and that's exactly what this is gonna give you even though it's buildable and it leaves you super soft. So then when I'm in my bathrobe, I'll just go down and make myself a healthy, nourishing breakfast because beauty starts from within. And if you guys follow my Food Diary Friday videos, you will know that I change up my meals quite a lot, but um, I always make a point of getting in a good meal in the morning. It sets me up for the day and I like to add in antioxidants and get that glow from within. I am loving pink porridge. I get some jumbo oats, some fresh strawberries, I get some coconut milk, some flaxseed mix, and this one has cinnamon in and stuff, which is just really, really good for you. I'll have some almond butter or peanut butter and I will cook the oats in the milk. I'll add in some strawberries while it's cooking, stir it all up and then when it's done I top it with strawberries. Also a little bit of a natural sweetener and in my cup of coffee and that is I usually eat that watching some of my YouTube friends or my favorite YouTubers. Then I'll come back upstairs and I'll lay out my outfit for the day. Today I chose this play suit from Topshop, which is perfect for summer. It's really loose and airy and stylish, so I like it. I'm not a very stylish person. I like to pretend I am sometimes though. So. so first, for a bit of shimmer on top of my color, I love applying some of Zoella's Body Fondant Shimmer Balm. It's from the Sweet Inspirations range. It smells so gorgeous. Literally makes me smell like a giant macaron and I am all about macarons. I feel like when I have the bit of color and tan on, this looks a lot better and is more noticeable. After letting my hair air dry, I'll straighten it quickly. I'll apply some black seed oil just to condition it a little bit and also a heat defense spray. 
spray and then I'll take a really really cheap curling wand this one's by Babilis and I think I literally got this in Tesco but I'll just fling bits of hair through it not go in any particular direction or anything I'm just looking to mess my hair up a little bit then I take a third of the hair from the top of my head wrap it all up into a bun and wrap a bobbin around it super lazy hairstyle but I think it looks kind of cool I'll then spritz myself with perfume I'm loving the new Calvin Klein summer scent oh my god and then onto makeup and I'll obviously start off with a pore primer because in summer I sweat like nobody else in this universe and then for every day kind of wear when I'm gonna be outside and stuff I'll use a tinted moisturizer that contains SPF I will apply that all over my face and then blend it out using a damp cosmetic sponge and then to match my freshly fake tanned skin I will add in a bit of a bronzer a liquid bronzer into that and just kind of on certain parts of my face like along down under my cheekbones and my chin and my nose I'll highlight under my eyes using a much lighter colored concealer because this just kind of makes you look really awake and it takes away the under eye bags and all the nonsense that we just don't want to be dealing with I'll always make sure to use a long lasting powder all over my base makeup because otherwise it just slips and slides everywhere the whole day long and you know melting candle face lady isn't really what I want people to remember me as. <laughs> I'll then get a light colored bronzer and buff that all over my face using a big huge fluffy brush mainly focusing on like under my cheekbones but just kind of to add a bit of color to my face. I'll pop a matte pink blush onto the apples of my cheeks and buff and blend that out as well. I'll fill in my eyebrows a little bit even though you can't really see them with my bangs um, but sometimes it blows up. Sure you never know it is hard and it's very windy. I'll fill them in make them look fuller and thicker and use a brow gel to kind of set them in place and fluff them up a little bit. I will apply a highlighter to the tops of my cheeks and then just onto my brow bones and a little bit all over my eyelid because I just think Pretty. Eyeshadows I always go back to are like nude matte pinks and rose golds, that, those kind of colours that come in the Naked 3 palettes, one of my favourites. I'll work a mid-tone neutral kind of pinky brown shade into my crease. Then I love applying a shimmery pink shade to my eyelid. I just think it really complements my green eyes. I'll take a white highlighty shadow shade and I'll basically add this to the inner area of my eye like where my tear duct is and I'll blend that out over the brow bone to kind of get rid of any harsh lines from the crease color and I'll oftentimes get a darker color so in this palette it has a very dark purpley one has little red speckles in it and I'll kind of add that to the outer third of my eye and then blend it in then I'll take my favorite black liquid liner and I will just line the top of my eyes but not out into a cat flick I've actually been wearing the cat flick less the past couple of weeks and I kind of think it looks quite nice. It's just a bit different because I always always do a cat flick and I feel like keeping that for evening time makeup is better. Then I'll get a lengthening mascara and apply a couple of layers of that to my upper and my lower lashes. And then onto my lips and I have to use a lip liner in summer because my lip stuff just falls all over my face in the heat and the the sweatiness of like my upper lip tends to really sweat a lot so I have to use lip liner I'll use a nudie matte brown lip liner to just slightly overdraw them and make them look plump and fill my lips in with that gives a nice base and then I'll use a liquid lipstick because these buggers just don't want to budge they stay for hours even after eating or drinking and then I'm ready to pop on my glasses and head out the door and that is how I currently get ready for summer I just want to thank Rimmel for working with me on this video I have been a fan of Rimmel since I was in secondary school I'm using their tans that long so this was great and thanks for watching and I'll see you again